Hi everyone, I'm Austin with Axiom Tool Group and in today's video we're going to show you how to keep your machine running like new with an Axiom maintenance kit. In part two, we're going to be using the grease gun and the included grease to help maintain the ball screws on the machine. Before starting, it is important to first clean your machine. Using the included brush in the kit helps to loosen any dirt and debris. So we're going to start with the x-axis. We're going to need a 4mm Allen wrench for this operation. And we're simply going to loosen and remove the four cap screws holding the ball nut to the spindle assembly. Now once the last cap screw has been removed, we can simply slide the spindle assembly out of the way. Using a folded up paper towel, we're going to slide that in behind the ball nut and this will help us keep things nice and clean. When placing the grease gun up against the Zerg fitting, just keep in mind that these don't snap in place. So we want to use some firm pressure here. Be careful not to over grease. All we need are one to two light pumps. After cleaning off any excess grease, we can go ahead and slide the spindle assembly back in place. At this point, we're going to reinsert those four cap screws holding the ball nut assembly in place. Now we're just going to snug these up. We're not going to tighten them just yet. Because we have separated the ball nut from the spindle assembly, it is important that we now realign the ball screw. Failure to do so could result in binding on that axis. Now to realign the x-axis, we're going to start by jogging the machine all the way to the right hand side, stopping just a few inches before the right gantry leg. You want to have enough room so that you can still fit the Allen wrench in and tighten up those cap screws. Once you have enough room, we're going to slowly begin tightening up those cap screws in a cross pattern. Be sure not to over tighten these as we just want to snug them up. Moving on to the z-axis, we'll first remove the dust shoe, followed by the z-axis stepper cover. Before loosening the ball nut on the z-axis, we have to support the weight of the spindle. If you have your cardboard tube from the original packaging, we can use that here. Now loosen and remove the four cap screws securing the ball nut. With the spindle supported and the cap screws removed, if the machine is under power, using the Z plus button on the controller will raise the ball nut out of the spindle assembly. Again, we will insert a paper towel, trying to keep things clean. Then we will use our grease gun. Remember, one to two light pumps of grease here. After wiping off the excess grease, we can use the controller to move the Z axis up and down to work that new grease into the bearings. Slowly move the ball nut back into the spindle assembly, then reinstall the four cap screws. Remember not to tighten them just yet, as we will still need to realign the ball screw. To realign the Z-axis, we will raise the spindle in the positive direction, stopping a few inches from the top, giving us just enough room for our Allen wrench. Remember to tighten the cap screws in an X pattern. Lastly, the Y-axis. No need to remove any cap screws here, just simply one to two light pumps of grease and clean off any excess grease. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more or you'd like to pick up a maintenance kit today, visit us at axiomprecision.com or see the link in the description below. Thank you guys.